Hey guys, this is Doug over at TacticalMeasure.com. Um, we're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, and we're going to introduce a section of our website called If I Knew Then, What I Know Now. Um, and what that is going to be is um, non-biased product reviews. And uh, we are buying all of these products out of our own pocket um, to pass on information to our customers who may be on the fence about trying one of these guys out. Um, the first one we're going to do today is the uh, Enforce APLC, which, if anybody watching knows me personally, um, I'm not a big fan of weapon lights um, on an everyday carry gun. It just, it never has seemed right to me. Uh, mounting a big old weapon light on a pistol you're going to have to carry day in, day out. You know, for most of us it's 8 to 12 to 14 hours a day. Um, and the extra, you know, five, six ounces does make a difference. Um, you know, especially if you're not used to it. So when I was told I needed to do a review on the Enforce APLC, I thought, oh great, you know, another weapon light hitting the market. Great. Not something I would normally get very excited about. But I picked this thing up and maybe about to eat my own words. <laughs> but Enforce APLC looks great right out of the box. Definitely a better mounting system than the original APLs. Um, and probably the biggest feature for me is that this thing mounts flush with the end of my Glock 19 barrel, which is great for me. Because I never understood having you know a weapon like stick that far out above your gun, or under your gun. Makes the holster a little more uncomfortable and a little less, or a little more bulky. So, like I said, um, pulled this thing out of the box and was immediately impressed. Uh, it looks great, it feels great. It's made out of a glass reinforced nylon. Uh, it's supposed to be water resistant. I have not tested that yet and I don't really think I'm going to. Um, from everything that I can see, it is water resistant. Um, when I looked it up on the website, it didn't give it a, a, like a, a depth, like on your watches and stuff like that, but it did say water resistant. <clears throat> um, so this thing's really light, really compact. Um, weighs 1.87 ounces with the battery in it, which doesn't add much to your, your normal loadout. Um, at a length of 2.43 inches, and of course, as you saw just a second ago, it does not stick out past the barrel of my 19. Um, and if you look inside the bezel there, you've got great mirroring all the way around and a bezel diameter of 0.88 inches. So another thing that really, really intrigues me about the Enforce APLC is the way it's operated. Um, it's got two ambidextrous paddles on either side of the gun. You know, both textured. Got a really nice, good feel on it. So if like you're indexing after you come out of the holster or whatnot, um, you get a solid place to put your finger. If you don't already, put your finger just above on one of the touch points. And before any of you uh, loaded gun Nazis, call me out too hard. You can see my gun is unloaded with no mag in it. Do a video. So if you ever see me don't do it, don't bust my balls too bad. <clears throat> um, so out of this light you get a runtime of 1.5 hours. And that's pretty accurate. Um, I think I got just a little over an hour and a half uh, out of my first battery and then pretty close to an hour and a half on the second two batteries that I've used. Um, I've carried this thing for about a week and a half now, and of course, you know, when we get a new toy, we're like a kid in a candy shop, we just gotta play with everything. Um, so I've been playing with it, and, you know, working it into my draw, and, you know, of course I made, first thing I had to do, you know, I'm a holster maker, so I had to make a holster for it. So I made me a nice little, nice little holster for it, flush mount clip. 
Uh, nice positive click. Gun ain't coming out. But, you know, that's me as a holster maker. <clears throat> so, I do get sidetracked quite often, by the way. Um, we've got two functions on this light. Um, a momentary and a constant, which is great for me. Um, I don't like the lights that have, you know, the paddle switches that go up or down, you know, you know up for constant on or momentary on and vice versa at the bottom. Um, and it doesn't have a lot of features like the, the strobe or anything like that, which I find great. Um, because in a stressful situation, fine motor skills are out the window. Um, so, I mean, everybody can remember to press a button. Now, we don't have to press the button three times to get the strobe or two times to get the dim light or one and hold for the you know, max output. That just seems ridiculous to me and is a good way to get yourself killed in a stressful situation. But to each his own. These are all my opinions. Um, and if you didn't want to hear somebody else's opinion, you wouldn't be watching YouTube. So <laughs> I guess just deal with it. Um, to lock this light out to where it can't turn on or off or it just doesn't work anymore you flip this bezel a quarter turn back and it locks the light out to uh, eliminate the chances of uh, accidentally discharging the light revealing your position me I've never had a well I haven't had a problem yet um, of when I'm holstering or unholstering ugh, holstering or reholstering um, I'm going to say that one more time unholstering and reholstering the weapon I haven't accidentally discharged the light or anything like that so it's pretty it's, it's great um, most of most of my customers and friends and family who know me are going to really, you know, bust my balls on this one. Because I'm keeping the APLC on my gun. I really enjoy it. I uh, guess I am a convert. Here's somebody who has never carried a weapon light on their weapon for more than a day or two and not found it extremely uncomfortable. And I've been doing this for a week and a half now. Um, so if you're on the fence about this thing, at a price point of 100 I think MSRP is $118. This thing's great. Uh, some of you uh, are familiar with the Surefire XC1. Which, in my opinion, was a total flop. You know, you had the, the controls were, to me, just terrible. And at a price point of $250, yes, it was made out of aluminum, yeah, Cool, cool, and yes, it ran off a single AAA battery, which is great. Um, and you still got the same lumen output for an hour. Pretty impressive. But the controls just killed it for me. So, if you're on the fence about this thing, if I if I knew then what I know now, I would definitely still buy this product. Um, and wouldn't regret it at all. So take that for what it's worth. Um, like I said, it's just a, just a holster maker's opinion whether you care or not. Well, either way, I don't care. So, thank you guys uh, from everybody at Tactical Measure for taking the, you know, eight or nine minutes to watch this video, and hopefully it helped. Um, especially if you're a little hesitant like me and don't really care for weapon lights. Um, so, like I said, from everybody here, you'll have a great day, and we'll see you next time.